Welcome back, everybody, to the Los Angeles Rams franchise rebuild here on Madden NFL 24. Today, we get into our 10th season as a franchise, or at least as the head coach with this franchise to round out the first decade with the team. We come out of preseason going one and two during it. Wagner throwing four touchdowns, no INTs, a solid rating for him as per usual. On the grounds, we gave the ball plenty to all three running backs. Devon H. Chan, the best average. Allen, also four per carry, one touchdown. Wagner scores on, on the ground once as well. A fumble for H. Chan, but Trevor Offord picks up right where he left off from the last two seasons, dropping over 78 yards per game and two touchdowns. And actually, Denard McCollum was the second best receiver on the team in preseason, dropping two touchdowns. Meanwhile, both young tackles did allow all four of our sacks in preseason. Three of them belong to Ben Farrow across three games. Ruiz the most tackles, Terry the most sacks, also got one for a couple of other players, but Jonathan Dodson rolls in the only pick for us. Meanwhile, rookie kicker Glenn Douglas goes two for three on kicks, hitting a 55-yarder, but one player to make note of here was Matthew Williams, now a Houston Texan. He averaged 7.1 per carry and three touchdowns in three preseason games. Just absurd. So that was pretty crazy. But we were able to actually bring in, we had enough cap room to bring in a different backup versus the guy that we drafted. So we did sign Lance Hinton, a scrambler archetype quarterback to back up Jesse Wagner. And he actually has some starter experience coming off kind of a half starter year in KC. I think him and Joe Castle were battling, or him and Jake McAllister were battling for time there last year. And he actually played pretty well, 10 touchdowns, two picks. So he takes the roster spot in place of rookie quarterback Rod Farley, who we ended up cutting from the team. I have a lot of uh, a, a, a lot of players to look forward to here, I think, in this season, especially Jonathan Dodson, who showed off that he could really force a couple of INTs last season in his rookie year and also gain star dev. But for us, the goal is going to be the exact same as the past couple of seasons. It's got to be to win the Super Bowl. We have made the championship game, the NFC championship game, two years running, but obviously lost in both of them. So going into this year, hoping to get back there and win it this time, third time's the charm. We do open the season, though, against the New Orleans Saints. And we're going to have no injuries for maybe the first ever time in the series, nobody hurt for us out of training. And for keys to victory, I think the identity of this team, of this franchise, the entire time has essentially been the defense, even after Aaron Donald has retired, it's been the defense. So for us, if we can stop the pass and just control the air, then we can control the game. That is how we're going to win this one against Michael Adams and the Saints. Without further ado, let's dive in. We're going home to SoFi Stadium. Almost every game we have watched, like 75% of our games that we've watched these last three years have been at home because all the big ones have been at home in SoFi. So until we get a good game on the road, we plan here at home. But this is the last game of the entire week. It is the 10 p.m. game on Monday night primetime to wrap up week one. If you guys wouldn't mind, please do like the video, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below any feedback you have on the series or the episode. Without further ado, let's kick off week one. Stoudemire brings it out from the end zone up to our 20-yard line, and that is where the offense will come out to start this game. Going to throw it on the first play, offered us to come back for it but ends up getting around seven yards in the very first play from scrimmage. He does have X-Factor now, so that should be a big boost to our offense with that new ability. New set of downs after that Demarius Allen run. This is Perry Kaysen getting the carry, and he also moves the chains. So we obviously have 
kind of a three-back system now with Allen, Kaysen, and Achen all playing different roles out of the backfields. But Allen's still kind of the focal point on the base run plays. He's already got three carries here for 18 yards. Up to the Saints, 44, and a flag is down. That's going to be a five-yard penalty. Avila picks it up on the false starts. Second and 12. We hand it off. Allen up inside the 45-yard line. That'll get us half the yardage back for third and six. Over the middle, complete for the first down. Morgan Stoudemire, his first reception. So we obviously talked about how we drafted two receivers in the third and fifth rounds of the draft last episode. And we'll see if either guy can make their way over Stoudemire for playing time. But for now, Stoudemire gets the nod as the third receiver. A sack and a penalty here on second down. Penalty on Campbell, a sack allowed by Farrow. And they're going to accept the penalty or the uh, sack rather instead to bring up third down. Achan up inside or up to the 30-yard line. And we will just settle for a field goal from a rookie kicker. Glenn Douglas, 46-yarder up and good. And the Rams are on the board to open this game. Now it's time for the Saints offense. Out comes Michael Adams, Chris Olave, and these New Orleans Saints. They start in the option. Adams spun around after a 14-yard gain. We saw this team towards the end of last season in that fourth quarter against them before that Falcons game. And they were a good team. They gave us some problems. They made us work to get the win. Michael Adams made a couple of nice throws in that game. So hoping to get some stops here. And we do get one. Antonio Stroud with the incompletion, the pass breakup. And on fourth and shorts, they will give us the ball back. Once again, starting from our 20-yard line. Out in the backfield. Won't get the carry. It's Jackson instead on the five-yard catch. Pitch out to Perry Kaysen. He's got Trainer as the blocker, and he's got the first down. If our tight ends can block a little bit better this year. We'll do a lot better on those outside runs. Up the gut now, and only two yards for Perry Case, and he's got three carries on, a, on a 19 yards. He and Allen splitting them so far. Down the field, broken up for Stoudemire by Greg Newsom, a top corner on this Saints team. Third down, going to a screen. Allen's got blockers in front. McCoy takes somebody out, and Allen has the first. Under a minute to go here in the first quarter. Good protection for Wagner. Another pass tipped away. Greg Newsom in coverage. This time on David Jackson. From the 45, we hand it off. Allen finds a hole, and he's got the first down up into Saints territory. Really good start on the ground in terms of the passing and running balance and the amount of yardage per carry. Could have used a better block there from Parson, but still again a 7 for Allen. He's having a really solid first quarter, and that will end it. Rams up 3-0 and driving. We start the second quarter from the 36. Pass caught for the first down up to the 30. David Parson, a couple of grabs already here in this one. New set of downs, Trevor Offord. I guess could not get both feet in bounds, so incompletes. Second down, gonna stick with the air. Wagner hit as he threw, and it's still caught by Parson. What a throw by QB1. Third and two, Allen finds a crease, and once again inverts the first down. In the red zone now, can the Rams put the ball in the end zone? Pass incomplete for Parson, who was stationary. From the 16, good pocket protection. 
One yard shy of the sticks is offered. Third down and short from the seven. Wagner, look at end zone. It's intercepted by Whittington. I'm not sure why Wagner made this throw because David Jackson was the target, but he was heavily covered by Tommy Whittington. He just cuts on the inside of that route and right to where Wagner threw it. And that entire drive goes to waste. That could have been a three-point swing, a seven-point swing, or even more if the Saints score here. Nelson on the ground. Carries Levy for around six. Only had three offensive plays there in the first half. They've already got, or in, in the first quarter, rather. They've already got two here in the second. From the 33 after that first down, Adams steps up and completes it to Olave across the 50. Going to stick with the air here. Finch brings the pressure and Adams throws it incomplete. Rams bring five. Adams crossbody throw down the field and caught by Nelson, the running back. Just inside the red zone. Adam steps up. Trying to fight for yardage. And kept two yards short. From the 10. Adams on the move again. And caught inside the 5. A couple of grabs here for Nelson. Now it's Poe on the pitch out. Down to the 2 yard line. Under 5 to play here in the half. Rams defense trying to hold. Adams going nowhere. In fact, going backwards. Loss of three on third down or on second down. Excuse me. Third and goal. Adams outside the pocket and taken down again by Quincy Baznight. Back-to-back -back sacks here in the red zone. The defense holds the Saints to a field goal. Almost blocked it. But instead we're tied at three apiece. Really good down the ground so far, but only three points to show for it. 3.15 to play. Can we get some points on the board here and jump back in front? Our third drive starting from our 20-yard line. Wagner's pass is incomplete for Parson. Greg Newsom has been all over the field in this one so far. Back to Allen. He bounces this one outside and gets us to third and short. From the 27, play fake. Wagner has time to throw and eventually just throws it away despite having offered open. He had room. But a throw away will lead us to a three and outs. The Saints take over, 225 on the clock. Still a lot of football left here in this first half. Both teams all three timeouts. They go full house and give it to Nelson. Five-yard pickup. From the 38-yard line, Adams taken off again. He's got the first down and more across the 50. Brought down by Darius Richards, but not before the first down. They're going to go no huddle. Trying to save their timeouts. This one's lofted and completes. And a broken tackle. Dotson cannot bring him down. It's a good pass there to Edwards for a 34-yard gain. Back inside the red zone, but going backwards, Raheem Finch on the sack. Another big red zone takedown by the Rams. Loss of nine. Dumped off and it completes for his tight end. Long way to go on third down and thrown away. The Rams defense doing all they can here to keep us in this ball game. Another time holding them to the field goal. But the Saints jump in front off the Sanders kick. It's 6 to 3. And still time left. Three timeouts, 38 seconds. Incomplete for Parson. This time it's Whittington, who's already had a couple of big plays. Good protection here on second down, but it's intercepted by Denzel Wilcox. The second pick in the first half by Wagner, and both are going to be costly, man. 
The target was Trevor Offord. And he just made a very late throw and a bad one at that. On the outside, Wilcox jumps the flats and the Saints take over from their 21-yard line. Adams over the middle. Touchdown, New Orleans. The Saints respond. Their offense takes advantage of the pick. And now the Saints, or the Rams rather, are reeling here, approaching halftime. It was 3-0 Rams. Now all of a sudden, it is 13-3 Saints. They've scored twice now off of Wagner picks. Two big point swings, but the half is not over yet. We still have all our timeouts. Gotta burn our first one there. Second down, Parsan up inside the 45-yard line. I don't know how we got that much yardage out of it, but we'll take it. 12 seconds on the clock. Still one timeout. Wagner right back to Parson, who got laid out on the end of that one, but no timeouts left. From the 43, Wagner throws it away. We'll have one last chance to put points on the board here before this half is over. Wagner throwing from inside his own half for the end zone. Tipped up and it's caught for a touchdown. The Hail Mary worked for the first time ever. Trevor Offord makes the play. But were his feet in bounds. An absolute moonshot from Jesse Wagner. A Hail Mary to close the first half. Tipped up by Greg Newsome. And Offord did have both feet in. Here's a replay of that. Tipped up and he's got possession. Clearly in bounds. And he hangs on going to ground. What a play to take us into halftime. He just saved a huge lead for the Saints. And said it's only a three-point game now, but we should still be in the lead right now without those Wagner picks. But instead, we're still losing. But what a play. What a play. 13-10 New Orleans. 34 offensive stamps for us. Only 22 for the Saints. And again, we are the final game of the week one. So every other squad has already played. Looks like the Raiders took down... The Patriots, the Seahawks behind Will Pollard absolutely bludgeoned the Dolphins, and the Cardinals took down the Niners 35-7 behind their new rookie quarterback. So first and 10, Saints starting with the ball here in the half, and they go with the option with Michael Adams, but George Vance ready for it. Second down, pressure coming, it's a screen for Olave. Third and two coming up. We force a three and out here. Nelson has the first. Full house again. Nelson up the guts and wrapped up by George Vance once more. Four to go on second down. And this time a loss of one for Nelson. Warren Terry in the backfield. Third down. Five to go. Drop back and complete, but short of the line to gain. Jonathan dies in a first down saving tackle. And the Saints on fourth and very short punt the ball again. The Rams offense comes out. How can we follow up that Hail Mary drive? Down by three. Plenty of time to play here in the third quarter. Allen drags defenders for four yards. If we can run the ball that well as we did in the first half here in this half, then we will have quite the scoring outputs. Nice little somersault there for Perry Kaysen. Brings up third down and short. This is Kaysen again. Just enough. Just shy of our own 40-yard line. Allen tripped up after only two yards on the carry. A lot of runs here in this one. This time the Saints are ready for it. Third down, going to have to throw it here. HN in the game. He picks up a blocker. And we've got Jackson wide open inside 
their 40-yard line. And a stick with the air here on first down. Allen hauls it in. Gain of seven yards. Taking a lot of time off the clock here in the third quarter. Off tackle and H. Shan nowhere to go. Nice play there by Page, the linebacker. Third down and short. Dan caught. David Parson. Heavily involved here in this game. Already six grabs with 45 yards. Wagner dumps it off, facing pressure. And we lose a yard there on the dump off. Back to throw on second down. It is complete to Stoudemire fighting for the extra yard. Third and one. We're going to throw it. Out to Trainer. He's got some room into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. BJ Trainer, a rare touchdown from him, but we'll take it. Trevor offered a really solid block in front of him to give him that extra step to get into the end zone. Really good job by those two players on, the, on that left side of the fields. The PAT is up and good. A 12 play, six and a half minute drive. Beautiful stuff right there. First and 10 Saints with time waning here in the third quarter. Caught over the middle by Hurst. Last play of the quarter, Nelson hit down a sandwich between two defenders. Third and one coming up to start the fourth. Another third and short for the Saints offense to start the fourth quarter. They go play action. Adams taken down in the backfield. It's Carl Graham on the sack this time. Our fourth on the day. Another third down stop. The third down defense by the Rams has been near perfect. Near perfect. We take over from our 25, trying to tack on more to our four-point lead. Wagner's got time. Instead, he misses the check down. Going to give it to him on the ground. It's Eichin in there, and he is dropped for a loss of one now by Page. Long way to go on third down. Wagner facing pressure, and he just throws this one away. The Rams go three and out. The Saints will have a chance to get some more points on the board. With 9.30 left to play in regulation. On the 35-yard line. Adams heaving it down the field and broken up by Johnston. Haven't seen too many plays by him. Haven't had to call his name often either. But Deontay Johnston, the deflection right there as a number two corner. Or and Terry was hurt on that play, by the way, so he exits. They dump it off. Third and seven coming up. Another chance for a defense to get a stop. Ruiz brings the pressure, and Adams threw a pick. George Vance with the INT. A crossbody throw. Pressure forced it, and that is how you play defense. That's why you force pressure, because of throws like this. Vance having a leap up for it, but he gives us the ball at the 43-yard line. First and 10 offense. This is HN for three. On the ground now, Perry Kaysen finds a hole. Good lead block there by the rookie fullback. And that one moves the chains once again. Allen the other way. Across the 40 now, gain of five. Should be in field goal range now for our rookie kicker. Good back down there by Greg Newsome, trying to go for Stoudemire. He's been making some plays in every single quarter, but not here. It's David Parson up inside the red zone. Rams knocking on the door. First and goal from the nine-yard line. Wagner picked again in the end zone. Come on, man. His second INT in the end zone. You don't see it very often for him. It's usually earlier down the field, but instead... Two costly picks will take off several points off the board 
and it's still a four point game six minutes left the saints have a chance and probably several with that much time on the clock nelson goes for four here on this one gotta ask a lot of our defense off of these turnovers nelson wrapped up by carlos ruiz a first down saving tackle Brings up third and three. Adams keeps it and he's got nowhere to go. The defense ready for the option this time around. It's not going to fool us here in the fourth quarter. The Saints punt the ball away. We have another chance to tack on more to our lead. First pass. Way off the mark. Can Wagner just step up on these last couple of plays here? That one's hauled in by Jackson for the first down. We're back in plus territory. One score. Well, one field goal won't be enough, but one touchdown should be. Another back down by Newsom, man. He is having a phenomenal day. From the 46th, though, Allen runs right into a wall. A big third down right here for both teams. Wagner, good protection. Right side and caught by Stoudemire. Breaking a tackle as well. Up inside the 15-yard line. We're back in the red zone. And Wagner show some good ball security. First pass caught by Trevor Offord. Out of the two-minute warning. We hand it off. Allen's got a whole touchdown Rams. And that should be enough to put this game away. That'll make it a two-score game with the PAT pending. And that will be enough. The Rams take it 24 to 16, your final score. We finally win on week one for the first time in multiple seasons. Very interesting game, throwing two red zone picks, but we got the win regardless. The defense was absolutely awesome in this game, and they did hold Michael Adams to 186 passing yards. So we did meet our game day goal for this one, but how do we remedy these three picks? I think without them, we probably destroy the Saints by like three or four scores. We got four sacks on Adams too. Allen ran the ball extremely well. So did Perry Case and both guys around six per carry. I mean, the game should have been a lot, a lot more of a blowout with that kind of a run game. But Trevor offered a huge touchdown to end that first half. Did not do a whole lot there in the second, but did not really have to. A sack allowed by the rookie tackle, Ben Farrow, but I think that's fine. We got four different sacks from four different players. Raheem Finch, Carl Graham, Candidate, Baz Knight all contribute here in the front four. George Vance with a huge pick off of Michael Adams and our rookie kicker, Glenn Douglas. Four for four on kicks, one for one on field goals, three for three on PATs, and he will earn an upgrade point because of it. We got to go accuracy to get that up because the kick power is already pretty high, so... Ho hoping for a really solid year for him. He's off to a good start. And out of this game, Darius Richards says it's going to be a nice boost for the secondary because uh, we met our game day goal, holding them to below 200 passing yards. They did a great job, and we do get over 40 or 4,000 XP for the entire secondary upgrade point for George Vance. He's finally a scheme fit. And he has been a huge part of our defense, had the pick here in this game against Adams. And he's only getting better at 27 years old. And how about Jonathan Dotson? A couple of big plays here in this one. Had the tackle to keep them short of the first down. And then rookie corner Frank Drummond. Won't see much of him here in his rookie year, but good to get some extra upgrade points for him to close out the episode. We go into week two. 1-0 facing the 1-0 New York Giants. The Cardinals and Seahawks also won their week one games. Let me know which game you guys want to watch. Do you guys want to watch this one against the Giants? Or do you want to watch a different one against the Cardinals, the Dolphins, or the Eagles? 
We have not faced the Giants, Dolphins, or Eagles very often here in this series, so I do want to kind of focus on one of those games. But the Jets are also there. We have rarely faced them, so just leave your feedback down below on who you guys want to face. But that will do it here. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. We're finally 1-0 to start the season, folks. That's a good sign. That's a very good sign.